it's time to revisit the Dallas Mavericks. They're currently in the 11th in the West, which is not even good enough to be in the play-in tournament. And it doesn't look like things are going to get much better. Their next games are the Kings on the April 5th, then the Bulls on April 7th, then the Spurs on April 9th. Now, the Bulls and the Spurs are definitely winnable games. Maybe even the Kings, because I don't think that the Kings can move around at all, so the Kings might just be resting their guys at that point. But the Kings are definitely a team that could beat the Mavericks. Really, any of these teams are, because the Mavericks have basically just been losing to any team that is maybe even slightly competent at this point. The Spurs, they should beat. There's no question there. And the Bulls, they... I think the Bulls are probably going to try really hard to win. That low-key might be the hardest game for them to win because the Kings, like I said, might just be taking it easy, resting their guys. That Bulls game might be tough. And if that Bulls game is tough, plus the Kings try, they're probably done. They probably have to win two out of these three, maybe even all three. And it, it might not be a stretch to say they'll have to win all three because they aren't looking good. And I think that's just a fact at this point. They've lost, what is it, I think seven out of their last eight, I want to say, but that, that might be too harsh. They lost to the Hawks today, so it's one, two, three, three in a row that they've lost, then they beat the Pacers, then they lost two in a row to the Hornets, and one to the Warriors, and one to the Grizzlies. Okay, so they've lost... They had a four-game losing streak and then a three-game. Yeah, so they lost seven out of their last eight. That's horrendous. They've won one out of their last eight games. And then before that, they beat the Lakers on a buzzer beater. So that easily could have been eight out of their last nine. But they just happened to hit a buzzer beater there. So right now, where things are standing, they are, I believe they're a full game behind the Oklahoma City Thunder for 10th. For 10th. Now, if they even get into 10th, which is not guaranteed, that's still going to be a very hard path to the playoffs. They would have to win two straight games on the road because they're playing the ninth seed first and the ninth seed gets home court advantage in that 9-10 matchup. Then they play, if they won that game, they would play the loser of the 7-8 game and that whoever that loser was would have home court advantage as well. So, that's a very, very rough way for them to go, especially when in the playoffs, defense becomes more important. Defense strengthens, and they don't have much of that. And the defense they do have, they don't play really that well. So right now on this roster, they have a lot of different things. They have Reggie Bullock, Tim Hardaway Jr., um, who have both been known as like 3 and D wings, but they just kind of aren't the same as they used to be. Then they also have guys like Davis Bertans, who was just kind of a throw-in into the Spencer Dinwiddie trade, and is just on the team as a shooter, basically, has absolutely no defensive capabilities. They kind of have waste of roster spots in Theo Pinson, who never plays, as well as Frank Lakina, who never plays, even though he, his strong suit is defense, and that is what they need. Um, he's injured at the moment, but Frank Lakina, Theo Pinson, um, AJ Lawson and are those the are those the three players? I think those oh and Markeith Morris. Those four players never ever play. As well as actually JaVale McGee, who they just played tonight. And he actually played very well. So I just think that the coaching has been bad, but really it's the front office that has put this team together. I don't think they put this team together that well at all. I've never really liked their center rotation that much they've always had like a weird center rotation with like Dwight Powell um Maxi Kleber and who else do they have right now JaVale McGee Markeith Morris D Davis Bertans those are all their big guys it's never been good and they really never play Markeith Morris when he's really known to be like a defensive like I don't really know how I say it like a defensive stopper tone setter type guy so how far do I see this team going? Honestly, every day I'm starting to feel more and more confident this team misses the playoffs altogether. They're one whole game out of the 10th seed, and they only have three games left. Three games left. 
is not a lot. There are other teams that have like five games left. But since they have three games left, basically they got to win all three or win two out of three and just hope that other teams lose. And remember, this team went to the conference finals. Was it was it last season or was it the year before? I think it was last season. They went to the conference finals. And now here they are, probably missing the playoffs. Now, I know last year the Lakers missed the playoffs and they were like the team that people were like, oh my God, the Lakers missed the playoffs. This year it's looking like that team's going to be the Dallas Mavericks. I guess you could say the Portland Trailblazers, but I don't think that's a huge surprise to anyone. Just it's like, okay, yeah, they aren't the greatest built team, even though they traded for Jeremy Grant. Not the point, though. though. Um, but my main point is, I just, I don't like this team. I have certain guys I like on the team. I like McKinley Wright the fourth. Pretty dang good player to have on a two-way contract. I like Justin Holiday for them. He started a few games, and when he did start, he looked good, I thought. But now, they just don't really play him, even though he is a defensive guy that could have helped them. Um, Jaden Hardy is another guy I like. Probably not too much of a defender, but he is a pretty, pretty small guy. I just I, I like him as a player. I think he's pretty solid. They don't play Christian Wood as much as I feel like they should. They don't really play him much at all, especially with that starting group. I just I don't really like how they've handled the whole Christian Wood situation. And altogether, they just haven't ran things the way I would have liked. Tim Hardaway Jr. feels like he's not existent anymore. Same with Reggie Bullock. I remember when both those guys were pretty solid guys. Um, Reggie Bullock for the Knicks was pretty dang good uh, on certain occasions. When they went up against the Atlanta Hawks in the, what would that have been, 2021 playoffs? Reggie Bullock was a pretty solid player. And him and Tar Tim Hardaway Jr. just seemed like I haven't heard anything about them in years now. Christian Wood was nearly an all-star. Don't forget, he was nearly an all-star. And now you never hear about him at all because he doesn't even start, which just sounds ridiculous to me. Uh, JaVale McGee, they signed to a bigger than veteran minimum contract. Like they signed him to like a two, three year deal or something, um, six million years, something around there. Like they signed him to a bigger than a veteran minimum and they don't play him. And when they did play him finally today, he looked better than who they had been playing in the past. He looked more like a legit center. Like, he was willing to do all the dirty work, play defense, try hard. Like, that's what JaVale McGee does. And there are so many teams out there that would love to have JaVale McGee. And it's just like they just kind of have him on the back of the bench. I really feel like this team just needs a full, like, reset in the offseason. I know Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic have both been playing really well. But I don't know if they fit well together. And I don't know if getting rid of that depth with Spencer Dinwiddie going and with... um. Dorian Finney-Smith was the right move. They also let Jalen Brunson walk. They've just not been making very good decisions in the past year, and they're paying for it right now. So I want to know what you guys have to say about all this in the comment section below. Don't forget to leave a like, though, subscribe, and turn notification bells to all. I'll see you guys all later in the next video, and peace out. See you guys next time. Bye.